start in Portsmouth where details are unfolding in what fire officials call their largest investigation in recent memory. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Shad. And I'm Anita Blanton. The fire marshal's office is teaming up with police to crack the case. They say foul play could be involved. Tonight on your side, Joe Fisher is live in the newsroom now with reaction from a family really just thankful to be alive, Joe. Anita, we've learned three people were inside the home when it all started. Tonight, the fire marshal's office has extra manpower on the case. At the same time, the police department has an open investigation into a burglary and assault. As for the big question, was this fire intentionally set? Investigators, investigators are staying quiet, but family members say yes, it was. I heard a knock at the door. The way Princess McBride describes what happened. Faces were covered with face masks. Sounds like a Hollywood film. One female, and she had a gas can, a red gas can in her hand. Covered from head to toe were the characters who she says forced their way inside. And the male had a uh, silver revolver and was pointing it at me. So I grabbed my baby and I stepped back in the room. McBride's home on Lenora Avenue in Portsmouth, the backdrop to the horror. And I heard my sister saying, get out, get out, get out. McBride with a front seat to the fire, quickly spreading in her sister's bedroom. When my sister opened her room door, it was flames in her room. And the girl had the gas can just throwing the gasoline around in the room. Her sister was doused in gasoline, but managed to escape. Together, they pinned the woman down. Like we was sandwiching her, trying to hold her. And while I'm trying to dial the number to 911 and I would hit the phone, put it on speakerphone, I was talking to the dispatchers. But the man returned, pointed his gun, and both took off running. It was so much going on, I forgot the house was still on fire. An inside look shows white walls turned black. A total loss. Literally today was trash day. Everything was on the curb today. McBride says her sister knew the two people. Some kind of problem flared up. But this, she says, is an unthinkable solution. They try to take my sister's life and they try to kill my, my sister with me and my baby in the house. And I wouldn't do that to anybody. I don't care how much beef I had with somebody. A family thankful for what they do have, their lives, and a lesson to teach their five kids. Please choose your friends wildly because people are crazy. And the Red Cross is putting the family of eight up in a ho hotel at least through the end of the week. McBride says the female suspect left behind her ID, which she has turned over to police. Tonight, the department says they have active leads, but so far have not made any arrests. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Joe Fisher. Tom, back to you.